and I'm doing it for my daughter. Mm. <laughs> this is Kurt Metzger. Well, folks, uh, I moved. I just moved to Austin. How are you liking it? It's, it's good. I like it. It's it, good. Yeah, I was mostly about getting out of Cal L A, mm-hmm. which has degenerated considerably. It's getting worse. Where were it's you in L A? So by uh, the Laugh Factory on uh, like West uh, in West Hollywood. Oh, nice. But uh, it was kind of. But when I got there, and then it got real weird. Really. Yes, yeah, some built some building burned down across Hollywood Boulevard, and uh, people started squatting in it. Oh, good. And then a dude would be f- following, like women on the street around. <laughs> well, I never got to that. So I didn't sex you about that. Yeah, I, you know, right, Chris. It, yeah, I mean, got, hold on, don't hey, buckle your pants back up. Before, let me finish before it's not as hot as you think it is. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, uh, I mean, I'm asleep. We'll see, Kurt. My girl's walking her dog. She didn't come back for a while. Uh-huh. Okay, and I'm like, where the fuck is she? And then uh, she forgot her phone, and this dude was following her up and down the block yeah. from a distance. At, and he was, hey, do you know what time it is? Like shit, like that. <laughs> so she went this crazy way to get back. So I'm like, what the? So the next day, I'm like, please remember your phone. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm asleep. I wake. I get it. My phone goes off. He's like, yeah, guy's here. Follow me again. So I. Dude, I, and I, I roll out of bed and I put on like I just show I think I had like gravy on it. Okay, it was gray and gray shorts, and I had these dirty shoes from uh, going up uh, the canyon. Yeah. So you get ready and you get all dirtied up. I didn't mean to, but I did look like the king of the home, like the hobos yeah. of the block. So mm-hmm. that probably helped my authority. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. And uh, so I go booking down the street. Mm-hmm. I ran the wrong way first. And I turn around, just no, he was that way. <laughs> so I had to run. So I run up to this dude and I. I have no wind now. Like, I don't have a lot of wind like that. That's a problem, yeah. So when I get there, oh, shit, I'm out of breath. But I'm like, I was also upset. So I'm just like, so I'm yelling at this guy who's like, because I always like to stare in their eyes. I bet I'd be in a few hobo fights in uh, New York and, you know, it's like a New yeah. York kind of thing where you have to confront a crazy person and won't stop talking to your girl. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. happened to me several times up there. No shit, okay. Yeah, I, so anyway, I'm staring at him and he was like, he wasn't a pussy, but he was like not right. But I think he thought I was like way more not right because I looked fucking batshit, you know? Yeah, in the morning. And in my head, I'm like, oh, you just gotta say. But then I go, if you ask my girl what time it is again, I'm gonna show you what time it is. Like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> and then this dude would like, he never, like, if I walked down the street, the guy would like sink into the bushes. He would turn yeah. around and sink yeah. in the bushes. <laughs> Yeah. Or it would be like Homer in that fucking Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of a Homer, yeah. And then people on my block, saw, I don't know, like wave at me. Like, yeah. I'm the hero of the block. The winded hero. <laughs> they, yeah, they call him. No, no, he does this bit where he's like out of breath and he's yeah. like, and then he says, but I'll show you what time it is. Yeah. And they get the shit scared out of him. Well, the part of it's the gravy shirt. That's like how Batman <laughs> had <laughs> the bat to attract the bullets. That's the only one that's bulletproof, yeah. the plate. Anyway, that's awesome. You can't yeah. fight a hobo every fucking week. No, you get yeah, cuts on your fit, your hands. <laughs> <laughs> you get at like you might stabs as well be on cutting your chimp meat in the bush. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna get cuts all over your hands and. Shit well, have you ever seen over. first responders? Have you ever seen the soap that they put on their hands after they deal with um, homeless that type of thing? No, what is it? If so, if, a first responder if they if they go out and there's like a um. They're like get, get, getting into some homeless guy's guts to, to save him, <laughs> yeah, to, to save, save his him. life. <laughs> they'll they'll then run over and they'll spray this soap on it. it. Looks, you know how I get about soap? Yeah, it's like my nightmare. <laughs> what do you mean? What's your nightmare of soap? I just I I do not like um like manufactured fragrances and and cl- cleaners and stuff. Like it's oh, just, that's that real chemical shit. For, grosses uh, me out. But the stuff yeah. they use is like super. It looks like a fire extinguisher. Yes. Yeah. yeah right. It comes out and like. It should be though. Like dude. housing in- installation type Ho- stuff. Homeless like people's skin is the worst thing you could put your hand on. Oh, yeah. Like to touch a homeless person. I like how brazenly. Ooh. I like how brazenly <laughs> they'll shake your hand yes. too. Uh, yeah, that type of thing, dude. In, in, outside the commie cellar for years at McDougal, yeah. and now it's out. Of, it's out fucking out of control there, because um, they, you know, they deep, they got they ran the cops out that mm-hmm. used to keep it relatively orderly. But uh, there was this guy who used to come through that would like whip out. He had he was missing all his tops mm-hmm. of his fingers, right? Kick ass. 
Yeah, so you'd be talking. This guy whip out a stick. Oh my god! Claws. Start, start putting money in the little nubs. Oh. He was like the headliner of the whole block. <laughs> he was Patrice the used to say he's like they they give him the you know excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. The, I'm very, so, yeah. the solicitor. He was the town solicitor. Yeah. And, yeah. He, and uh, like they're like wrap it up. Be like oh, <laughs> he's got it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that that block like you know New York is where I would more expect that kind of confrontation. <clears throat> yeah. And it looks like bums. you should have that there. It looks like shit. But, you know, L.A. look kind of suburban, so it's, like, eerie to have that, you know? Yeah, it's weird to see a guy who have his out drinking his own piss with a palm tree in the background mm-hmm. and, like, a lotus yeah. nearby. Yeah. <laughs> well, it used to be weird. <laughs> Normal now. Chris, can you look up EMT soap? I want to see <clears throat> what it actually is. So you're, you're talking about, like, up in, like, the... Um, now it's that bad up in, like, West Hollywood, Beverly yeah, Hills just- line? It just looks like shit, dude. Every yeah. place is like degenerated. Never mind. Well, first of all, like uh, the beach, um, I'm blanking out, but Venice. Venice yeah, beach. yeah, I used to live in Venice. That's why. So that always had a homeless problem. Always. It didn't go all the way up the boardwalk, all the, you know, like but, after pandemic and they closed shit down, it, it, it got, I don't know if it's like a real estate scam to make the real estate cheap or something. Yeah. But it, it's almost on purpose to fuck up this bat. They, sh- yeah, they shoveled them into the, the mainland. It's a beautiful couple. Mm-hmm. I don't know where we'll go. The thing is fucked up is if you go to like downtown, do you ever see that downtown? LA, it's like Calcutta. <sighs> oh, it's not it? as nice as the the Depression. You know, mm-hmm. if you see the Depression, they have like nice metal shacks they made. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Steampunk homeless shacks. Yeah, they, that's like advanced compared to what it is now. Wow. And now they're pushing like now that uh, what's his <clears throat> what's that fucking American Psycho kid uh, uh, Newsom. Newsom. He's like issuing an order to get it cleaned. There's like twenty three billion dollars just missing that was supposed to clean the sub because everybody just steals. In what? The, he's yeah. like, what? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Well, now he's not replacing uh, Biden for sure, so he's gonna. Uh, now he's like, hey, we gotta clear this out right now. So I don't know what's gonna happen with that. It's not like they, you know, they could just build some fucking houses and put them in there. And- he's gonna make bug skitter sounds, and nothing's gonna happen. God damn! What a piece of shit that guy is. They tested me for five minutes, and everybody immediately rejected me. <laughs> I bet you he would put up a, if, if it had been him versus Trump, this asshole would probably put up the best challenge yeah. because of his hair. I'm he not can even... jump rope. Yeah, he looks like a pol- He looks like a TV politician. Yeah, that's, that's what people are like hungry for again that are into that. Hmm. Good idea. And I think his wife's the one that he stole from his friend. Or, or, I think that? Biden did that with his wife, too. Right? Yeah. Didn't he, didn't he yeah. fuck his friend's wife? <laughs> his uh, campaign manager. Yeah, that's pretty funny. His wife looked like she'd fuck anybody for a fucking spot on uh, Seventh Heaven. <laughs> who's, who's his ca- campaign manager's wife? Can we see what she looks like? Is she hot? Like I don't know if that's her, but I thought it was. It's a shallow looking. Uh, uh, I thought survivor's spo- guilt. Oh, look at her sister. Oh, so she, she sacrificed her sister, uh, sister. Oh yeah, to get a, a great husband with a great head of hair. Yeah, uh, and was, it, it, was, and it worked. It was a lottery golf cart and- accident. Yeah, you don't want to be messing around with those golf carts. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, she was going 100 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> the last recorded speed on her sister's golf cart was 130 miles an hour. <laughs> uh, I felt the pressure to make my parents forget by being two daughters instead of one. What? <laughs> is this MK Ultra shit? What is happening? Wow. Be two daughters. Do you remember when uh, Newsom made this story that we covered because he disappeared for like two weeks after he got his booster? And, uh, you know, because it probably made him sick as shit. And so he he like, wouldn't answer. It was like, where, where, where's the governor for these two weeks? And he was like, yeah, my kids said I had to, I couldn't miss Halloween again. <laughs> we're sick of you missing Halloween. For two weeks. <laughs> for two whole weeks. We're going to have the best Halloween ever. Then they look up the kids' costumes. It's, it's like Nicole Brown. His daughter is Nicole Brown Simpson corpse for Halloween. <laughs> and his son is like a... Uh, the Olympics bomber, or something like some of strange MK Ultra shit. Yeah, they're just the coolest costumes ever. <laughs> Perfect. He uses like LA level makeup artists. He uses Izzy Galindo or he something. He chose to take his child. I didn't know he was missing from discussing climate change in Scotland. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Holy shit, who gives a shit? Yeah. He's like, do you know how long it takes to count $23 billion? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what? Oh, shit. God, keep fucking these things up. Yeah, are they pirates? Yeah, they're pirates. That's low effort. Yeah, <laughs> no fucking. He's got a lot of kids. Goddamn, just spooky mm-hmm. world costumes out of here. He's not. He's, he's, he's not. A, he's not one of these MGTOWs. You can see that. 
Mm -hmm. Brazilian. Newsome? No, no, that's like California original white guy face of California. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's like a, he should have a Hurley hat on and a soul patch. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Proclaims. Oh no. Yeah, that's exactly. It's like a thin. Yeah, it said he proclaims Jewish American Heritage Month. Month. I thought it was his Jewish American Heritage Month. Month. My. <laughs> I'm proclaiming my Jewish American Heritage Month. There's the proclamation. We, we never read this in full. I feel bad about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, fuck, well, there's no time like the present. To I only skimmed it. <laughs> well, I just my eyes went immediately to the word Holocaust. Right here. Uh, no, the one that's two paragraphs down. So I guess I'll use it again. Brazilian. During you know, the Holocaust. Uh, you know Jehovah Witnesses were in the Holocaust? Were they? Yeah. How'd they get them over there? They're in Germany. But uh, uh, I mean, when I was a kid, we went to the Holocaust Museum to look at the Jehovah Witness. <laughs> yeah. You know? So there's like, you go through and then there's a little part, this is like a plaque. It says uh, gypsies, Jehovah Witnesses, and gays. <laughs> and yeah. one little fucking, they were not the Beyonce of the Holocaust. They lumped, up, they lumped them in with the gays? Yeah, yeah. And, the, and it was like a purple triangle instead of a pink one. Damn. I think. Yeah. But anyway, that's how you know the Holocaust happened. There were other people there that saw the whole thing. Purple yeah. triangles, red stars, and blue balloons. <laughs> <laughs> See, it was 100% real. Yellow clovers. <laughs> I'm going to make this into a cereal one day with sugar and give the fat ones diabetes. <laughs> I didn't know. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. So the so look at this. The symbology here, it's uh, every everyone who died in the Holocaust that wasn't Jewish, they get a triangle that's part of the Jewish star, but not the whole star. But not the whole star. So what you're am I, Palestine. So you're part of the you're part of the. Uh, that's that's so funny, isn't that interesting? I like this like cut sheet from uh fucking uh, don't tell mom the babysitter's dad on the the design. Yeah. Well, you know you like uh when they put I can't remember uh, which. People got acquitted at Nuremberg, a couple of Nazis. Mm -hmm. And the reason they got acquitted, their defense was like, well, we were, we were just copying your eugenics program in America, which was the state of the art. <laughs> America was much worse about eugenics. They got that from us. Yeah. So they got to acquit them because I love me. Oh. The Pledge of Allegiance, did you know this Pledge of Allegiance, like a socialist invented it? Really? And it used to be a Sig Heil. No way. Except you make your hand more up a little bit. You can oh. see it on Wiki fucking Wikipedia. Show Let's look up who invented the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. Let's check. Yeah, Let's dig I, it. Wow. They changed I never it. felt good reading the Pledge of Allegiance. I've always, never done it once. It always felt weird to me. There's a picture. Yeah, Francis Bellamy, and then Bill Bellamy's well, that's, grandfather. Not that one. That's after. That's oh, after oh, they had oh. to change it. There might be a picture yeah, of it. Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, Why the fuck are we yeah. reading a Pledge of Allegiance written by a French? Socialist? That's a great question. Oh, there you just it just showed it. You could, yeah, there we go. What the fuck? <laughs> There's the original Pledge of Allegiance. The Bill Bellamy, Bellamy salute. <laughs> the old Bellamy salute. Wow, look at that. How interesting is that? Man. Yeah, so it was like bad optics hmm. uh, later in the war. Yeah. Interesting. I wonder if Bill Bellamy said, "Man, my grandfather was lethal." <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was Bill the Bill Bellamy salute. They called it. <laughs> Ooh, that hurts the family lineage. Did I, did I tell you I was watching Bill Bellamy's stand-up Reese is new stuff? Yeah. No. <laughs> it's what? awesome. Bill Bellamy has new recent oh, stand-up. You know what I'm curious about? It is awesome. How much has like one earpiece microphone technology advanced since mm -hmm. his last special? Mm -hmm. Really? Oh, he, he probably doesn't even need this. He probably like the Janet Jackson mic. He probably could just have a Oh, that's right. He does do Janet Jackson mic. Where's the break on that? Because so, so a lot of people do them, kind of. I guess. I want to. I should do that. I think. Yeah. Do you want to be more physical? Really explore the space in your act. I meant to tell you that. 